kila mtu lazima alipe kodi biblia inasema ya kaisari umpe kaisari ya mungu iende kwa na mimi tarehe sita next week mi na move amendment to section 7 subsection 3 of estate duty act to remove exemptions of individuals who are not paying tax in this country we are losing 370 billion through exemptions of tax kuna watu kenya hii walipi tax na hiyo pesa tunapoteza kama inji ni 370 billion hiyo ndio mimi nimeendea hapo kwa sababu hiyo pesa ndio itakuja kulipia watoto basari kuunda barabara kusaidia watu walio chini kwenda juu hiyo ndio agenda tunataka tusukume na mimi siwezi tishwa mimi naogopa vitu tatu tu Mwenyezi Mungu hii watu waliniandika kazi na maybe ile lakini hiyo vitu vingine ile wanataka kutisha ile tunataka tuhakikishe tusukume so that we move as a country and i want to ask everybody let us pay tax we cannot get more teachers if we do not pay tax we cannot get more bursary if we do not pay tax so i want to ask na unajua budget ya Kenya ni 3.6 trillion ile kodi wananchi wanatoa ni 2.3 trillion ile pesa hii watu wameficha hawajalipa ni 1.7 trillion ukiongeza 2.2 trillion plus 1.7 trillion is around 3.9 trillion na budget ni 3.6 trillion so tutakuwa na trillion mbili extra ya kusaidia wananchi so wala walipi kodi hata wa sponsor maandamano wa sponsor political rallies walipe kodi alafu waende maandamano waende rally and that is what we are just saying there is no option wewe ukiwa rais ulikuwa na security ukitoka kuwa rais security lazima ikwe, iwekwe chini kwa sababu wewe kuwa security kama sitting president na wewe retire sheria inasema under presidential retirement benefits act is very clear that a retired president is allowed only a maximum of six police officers that is the law the the outgoing president had more 120 gsu elite squad that was guarding him he cannot he must lose because that is what the law says there is nothing and the constitution is very clear hata wale mawaziri wametoka kazi sheria inasema wazipewe hata askari moja kwa sababu hiyo askari yote wanawachunga wakuja hapa Kerio Valley wasaidie wananchi ambao wanaumizwa ngombe yao na kuuawa na majambazi na majangili. Hiyo askari waletu hapa Kerio Valley huko wapi pale iko insecurity. Hata hii dunia tunataka pia wananchi wachungwe kama VIP. Ama nyinyi mnataka kukaa ovyo ovyo mnafinywa finywa tu hapa na pale. Si lazima mkuwe na hiyo security. So I want to tell wale mandugu zetu waache kufanya siasa na mambo ya usalama. Na nataka niwaambie inji William Ruto is not we chanting anybody. Hata wakati alifanyiwa maovu akiwa deputy president, alinyang'anywa askari na alikuwa sitting deputy president, but he took it with grace. And yet they were contravening the law. But now the law he says under retirement benefits act, it is very clear.